How to install the MDR Reader The MDR Reader is one of Impro's most compact, passive proximity readers. New technology allows the reader to read both 125 kHz and 13.56 MHz frequency tags. In this video, we will be focusing on the installation and connecting of this reader. Step 1. Consider the environment. Is the reader to be mounted on a drywall, a brick wall or on an aluminium door frame? Or is it being placed in a boom or turnstile environment? Different preparations would need to be made for each of these. The site plan needs to be carefully studied to assess the length of the 8 core cable needed for the installation. Step 2. Unpacking the MDR. In the box, there is a two-way programming pin, an extra M3 times 8 mm screw, and an extra serial number label. Let's take a look at the MDR reader itself. This multidiscipline reader is a simple device with two parts, the backing plate and a reader that is secured to the backing plate with an M3 times 8 mm screw. The tools needed for such an installation may include a drill, drill bits, a screwdriver, voltage tester, dry wall saw, ruler, pencil, spirit level and a tape measure. Step 3. Maximum communication distances. The small MDR reader works off the main access portal cluster controller which has a Wigan reader module connected to it. The MDR reader must be installed no further than 150 meters from the Wigan reader module. Step 4. Mounting considerations. To avoid mutual interference in the case of more than one reader being installed, place the reader no closer than 500 millimeters or 20 inches apart. Step 5. Mounting the MDR on the wall. The mounting position of the MDR should be at roughly chest height so that it is easy to present a tag to the reader and see and hear the reader response. Use a reader backing plate to mark off the hole positions. Consider routing of cabling. Secure the MDR backing plate to the mounting surface using suitable fasteners, screws, etc. Step 6 connecting the MDR. Match the wire colors of the 8 core cable to the color label on the connector on the back of the MDR reader. These same wire colors are also matched to the colors on the Wigan reader module. This is a quick easy way to ensure the reader is wired correctly. Step 7. Mount MDR to the backing plate. Once the MDR is wired, it is mounted to the backing plate on the wall. Clip the MDR onto the top of the backing plate and lower the MDR into place, flat against the backing plate. Secure the MDR to the backing plate with the screw that is provided. Step 8. Power on self-test. The MDR does a self-test on power up. On passing the self-test, it emits two short beeps. When the MDR is connected, check that the status LED is illuminated red and steady. This will confirm that the connection is correct and working. Step 9. Configuring tags. By default, the reader will read both 125 kHz and 13.56 MHz tags. The reader can be set to only read one of the two frequencies by presenting the desired tag type to the reader within 5 seconds of powering up. Conclusion. Job done. Congratulations. Your MDR has now been installed. Note. There are two models of the MDR multidiscipline reader, the MDR which does not have a keypad and the MDK which has a keypad. 
The keypad model will be installed in the same way.